What if the story of a people was written not on parchment or stone, but in the quiet code spiraling inside every cell? Across more than 7,000 islands, the Philippines stands as a living testament to voyages made, battles fought, and dreams carried on monsoon winds. Beneath the warmth of its sunlit shores lies a deeper warmth, the pulse of a nation whose bloodline stretch farther than any map can trace. Imagine for a moment, each Filipino carries an ocean inside them, an ocean of ancestors, sailors, traders, warriors, mothers, whose whispers echo in cheekbones, in skin kissed by the sun, in words shared around rice fields and bustling streets. Science now listens to these whispers. It deciphers the script written in chromosomes, unlocking truths that oral histories alone could never capture. In the Philippines, DNA is not just biology, it is a diary, a passport, and a compass pointing back to shores unseen. So who really are the Filipinos when the veil of myth is lifted by the lens of genetic science? How did this archipelago become a crossroads of human journeys, a mosaic of migrations and mingled lineages? Tonight, we dive deep into the veins of these islands, guided by genes that remember the worlds our ancestors crossed to shape the faces we see today. Stretching from the edge of mainland Asia into the restless Pacific, the Philippines has long been a stepping stone for adventurers and settlers alike. This vibrant nation of over a hundred million people is more than tropical beaches and bustling cities. It is a living archive of countless crossings. For centuries, its islands witnessed the rise and fall of sultanates, the arrival of Spanish galleons, Chinese junks, American ships, and everything in between. Languages, cuisines, and beliefs mixed like rivers meeting the sea, but beneath the swirl of cultures and flags, a quieter record endured, hidden in the bodies of those who called these shores home. Scientists have long wondered, how did such rich cultural diversity arise on these islands? Was it driven only by trade and colonial rule, or is the story older, deeper? a tale told in the strands of DNA that connect islanders to distant lands and ancient migrations. Recent studies have begun to reveal the answers. They show that the Filipino identity is not just the byproduct of foreign powers, but is rooted in waves of human movement stretching back tens of thousands of years. To truly know the Filipinos, we must look not just to history books, but to the double helix itself a silent witness to a past grander than any single empire. The earliest chapters of the Filipino genetic story begin far before the first recorded kings or colonizers. Around 50,000 years ago, the ancestors of today's Filipinos first set foot on these islands. Back then, lower sea levels revealed land bridges that connected parts of Southeast Asia, allowing humans to walk or sail short distances to reach what is now the Philippine archipelago. These ancient settlers carried with them genetic signatures that researchers today identify as deep Austronesian and pre-Austronesian markers, some of the same threads found in indigenous groups like the Eta, Agta, and Ati, often called Negritos. These communities with their unique features and traditions are living links to the archipelago's most ancient human roots. DNA studies show that these early islanders coexisted and blended with new migrants arriving thousands of years later. Around four to five thousand years ago, the Great Austronesian Expansion began, a seafaring wave that swept from Taiwan down through the Philippines and out into the vast Pacific, eventually reaching as far as Hawaii and Easter Island. This Austronesian migration brought farming, pottery, and advanced navigation, transforming the island's cultures and gene pool. It stitched the Philippines into a larger family of island peoples spread across Micronesia, Polynesia, and parts of Southeast Asia. The result? A medic, ancient hunter-gatherer ancestry intertwined with layers of Austronesian influence. This mix laid the foundation for the communities that would later trade, fight, and intermingle with traders and settlers from China, India, Arabia, and beyond. Even today, when geneticists sample DNA from Filipino populations, they find traces of this deep past, a living time capsule preserving footprints of migrations that unfolded when mastodons still roamed parts of the earth. 
But the story of Filipino DNA doesn't end with the first migrations. The islands have always been crossroads, hubs of commerce, conquest, and cultural exchange. Every boat that arrived, every treaty signed, every new marriage between a local and a foreign merchant added a new brushstroke to the Filipino genetic canvas. Long before Magellan's fateful landing in 1521, Filipino traders were already navigating the monsoon winds to reach distant shores. They sailed sleek Balangay boats across the South China Sea and the Indian Ocean, exchanging gold mined from Luzon's mountains, glistening pearls harvested from Sulu, and fragrant spices grown in Mindanao for silk, jade, porcelain, and beads. Chinese merchants settled in bustling coastal communities, not only introducing new words and culinary tastes, but also leaving behind a biological legacy. Genetic studies reveal that some Filipino populations, especially in cosmopolitan hubs like Manila and Cebu, carry up to 10% East Asian ancestry, a silent testimony to centuries of intermarriage and trade. When the Spanish arrived, they imposed a colonial regime that would stretch over 300 years, Spanish galleons anchored in Manila Bay, priests built stone churches on hilltops, and new surnames were assigned by decree. Catholicism and European architecture took root, transforming the cultural landscape forever. But perhaps surprisingly, the genetic imprint of Spain proved modest. In most Filipinos today, Iberian DNA contributes less than 2% of their total ancestry. The Spaniards reshaped identity through religion, governance, and the forced resettlement of communities far more than through biological assimilation. After Spain's flag came down, American rule began. Public schools were established, English was taught, and new systems of governance took shape. While American colonialism altered education and infrastructure, its direct genetic impact was negligible, a faint trace at best. The same holds true for the brief British occupation in the 18th century and the Japanese presence during World War II, short-lived waves of foreign control that left deeper scars in history books and collective memory than in the gene pool itself. What truly wove the Filipino genome into a unique fabric were the centuries of internal migrations and intermarriages among the island's own peoples. Ilocano farmers journeyed south to seek land, the Scions moved north for trade, and Mindanao became a mosaic of settlers and indigenous groups. Over generations, these movements created a complex web of relationships, blending hundreds of distinct cultures and dialects into something both diverse and interconnected. Recent genetic mapping illustrates this beautifully, clusters of populations displaying subtle but measurable differences that speak of old migrations, adaptations to local environments, and the persistence of community ties. An Iquilano from the volcanic slopes of Mayon, a Taosug from the Sulu archipelago, and a Nigorot from the Cordillera Highlands may all call themselves Filipino, yet their DNA carries echoes of slightly different journeys through time. In short, the Filipino genome is not a story of one conqueror's blood dominating all others, but a vivid, resilient tapestry, a testament to thousands of years of movement, blending, and survival. Each thread, whether from an ancient Austronesian sailor, a Chinese merchant, or a Visayan farmer, remains visible in the genetic patterns that shape identity to this day. So what makes the Filipino genetic story stand out in the global landscape? For one, Filipinos possess a higher proportion of ancient Southeast Asian hunter-gatherer ancestry than many neighboring populations. In some indigenous groups, this legacy can account for up to 30% of their DNA. This deeply rooted lineage connects them to the earliest humans who ventured into island Southeast Asia tens of thousands of years ago, leaving their footprints in caves and their genes in modern descendants. It also makes Filipinos a vital key for scientists, unraveling the complex roots of human dispersal across Asia and Oceania. Additionally, the modern Filipino genome carries a powerful Austronesian signature, a genetic thread that weaves them into a vast maritime story stretching across half the globe. This shared heritage binds a fisherman casting his net off Palawan to a Maori navigator charting the Tasman Sea or a Hawaiian dancer honoring ancestors through hula. The same ancient seafaring impulse that launched outrider canoes from Taiwan in the Philippines eventually peopled the most remote islands on Earth. In this sense, 
Every Filipino carries within them a fragment of that pioneering spirit, a living testament to history's greatest ocean migration. Some unique genetic adaptations have also emerged over millennia of life in tropical islands. Studies have revealed higher frequencies of alleles that boast of resistance to mosquito-borne diseases like malaria and dengue, an evolutionary advantage in human environments. Certain metabolic traits, including variations that affect fat storage and energy balance, reflect centuries of adapting to diets based on rice, root crops, and seafood. Among the most striking examples are found in Philippine Negrito communities. Researchers have identified rare gene variants that help regulate body temperature, protect the skin from intense sun, and possibly confer greater endurance in rugged rainforest terrain. Intriguingly, tiny fragments of DNA from ancient Denisovans, a mysterious, long-extinct human species, still linger in Filipino genomes. This archaic inheritance, likely introduced through interbreeding more than 40,000 years ago, places Filipinos alongside Melanesians and some Australian Aboriginal peoples who preserve this hidden legacy. These Denisovan traces are more than genetic curiosities. They are clues to humanity's most ancient crossings, reminders that modern people are layered mosaics of multiple human lineages. Taken together, these discoveries remind us that identity is far more than culture, politics, or language. It is a record etched into our very cells, a red thread in the vast tapestry of humankind. In every Filipino genome, you can read the story of survival and exploration, adaptation and blending, and a lineage that is both singularly unique and profoundly connected to all who came before. But DNA alone does not sing the whole song of being Filipino. It is merely the echo that resonates alongside language, faith, folklore, and shared struggles for freedom. Genes can trace where your ancestors journeyed, but they cannot fully capture the texture of your grandmother's lullaby or the fierce pride of a nation that has survived conquest after conquest. To be Filipino is to gather around a family table where Chinese noodles share space with Spanish adobo, where steaming bowls of sinigang and plates of panchit canton sit beside American-style fried chicken, and everyone's recipes come with a story. It is the rhythm of prayer as whispered in Spanish saints' names, but spoken in Tagalog, Cebuano, Ilocano, and dozens of other mother tongues, a chorus of dialects layered over centuries. It is the laughter that spills from jeepneys packed with students and workers, the tinny love songs floating through open windows, and the rainbow of sari-sari stores tucked along every street. It is the warmth of Bayanihan, the community spirit of helping neighbors lift a wooden house, rebuild after a typhoon, or celebrate a wedding with open doors and shared food. It is the faith carried in processions of flickering candles during Holy Week, in dances performed to honor harvests, and in tattoos inked as both protection and pride. Knowing the genetic origins only deepens this sense of belonging. It reminds us that while kingdoms rose and fell and foreign flags were planted on these shores, the people endured, adapting, mixing, and passing on their stories through both words and chromosomes. It shows how every Filipino today is the living intersection of countless journeys, Austronesian sailors steering their boats across uncharted seas, Chinese traders unpacking porcelain on ancient docks, Spanish missionaries ringing church bells over new towns, and indigenous healers preserving rituals that stretch back to the earliest settlements. Each Filipino today carries within them a legacy of sailors who braved typhoons in search of new islands, farmers who coaxed rice from terraces carved into mountainsides, poets who composed epic chants long before books arrived, and heroes who dared to dream of freedom against empires. That heritage lives not only in old photographs and family legends, but in every heartbeat, every language spoken, and every meal shared. This is the magic of the Filipino identity, a bridge between past and future, local and global, ancient and modern. The past walks with every Filipino, not just in memories, but in blood, bones, and the pulse that beats steadily from the coral reefs of Palawan to the rice fields of Nueva Ecija, from the crowded streets of Manila to the quiet highlands of the Cordillera. It is a story still being written, resilient, diverse, and endlessly alive. And so, the next time you see a Filipino smile, remember, behind that smile is an ocean of ancestors and a genetic map that defies simple borders. Each expression, each gesture, each family name carries the imprint of countless journeys, some charted by historians, others still hidden in the quiet helix of DNA. Science only confirms what these islands have always known, that identity is not a fixed monument, but a living current, shaped by wind and wave, empire and resistance, love and survival. From the first Austronesian voyagers who carved their outriggers and set sail into the unknown, to the communities who rebuilt again and again after war and storm, 
To the children today who inherit a legacy both fragile and unbreakable, this story is never finished. It grows with every birth, every reunion, every rediscovery of what it means to belong. So which part of this journey into Filipino origins surprised you the most? Was it the ancient Denise of an Echo still lingering in modern genes? The small but persistent traces of Spanish and Chinese heritage? Or simply the realization that your ancestors may have crossed oceans you never imagined? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Share your story in the comments below. Whether you carry this heritage yourself or are simply inspired by it, your perspective matters. And if you enjoyed unraveling this living tapestry with us, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you won't miss our next voyage into the genetics of humankind. Until then, may you carry your own story proudly, written not just in words or the fading ink of records, but in the silent, enduring language of your DNA. Because every one of us is a walking archive of triumphs, migrations, and memories waiting to be honored.